praise the lord i want to encourage you so um we have according to the news we have 303 um covid 19 cases in kenya but one of the things i began to do recently was to find out how many people have recovered because i noticed that across the nations <coughs> they are counting everyone whether you passed on whether you've recovered or whether you're sick they're just lumping them up and um, those who know i guess and those who run the nations or <laughs> so they think they run the nations let me put it that way they are very focused on um, uh, trying to explain themselves as to why they count everybody so we have 303 cases today. We have 84 recovered. And unfortunately, we've lost 14 people. So the net, that is the actually active cases, people who are sick, okay, with coronavirus or COVID-19 COVID are actually 206 people. It's not a small number, but in a country of 47 million, and considering it's been about uh, seven weeks now, the Lord is really fighting for us and also noting that the government itself has actually acknowledged <coughs> that by the end of one month they had projected would have 5,000, others said 10,000, but they had said it. Uh, we must not miss the opportunity to bless the Lord and to praise him even as we continue to, um, you know, just uh, operate in the wisdom that God gives us. But we must be able to proclaim the goodness of the Lord, okay? On the 16th of uh, April, the Lord told me that it is done. He has won it for Kenya, and he said that he wanted to set Kenya free so that Kenya can be the launching pad for the end-time revival, and so that Kenya then can take its position as uh, in the nations of the world. Um, and then, of course, the very same day, we moved into double digits. And this afternoon, I was just preaching online, and I told you that's typically how Satan operates. But today, we moved down to seven. So for the first time we had, as far as since I started counting, we actually had less people um, getting infected uh, compared to the number of people who have actually recovered. So yesterday we actually had 207 infected cases and today we have 206 net infected cases. I really want to challenge Christian broadcasting stations to take this kind of approach, okay, which is encouraging. Because it's almost looking as though we want there to be more cases, isn't it? The governments look like they're building up on the cases and hoping that the cases increase. I mean, who counts people who passed and who counts uh, people who have recovered and gone home? There should be some kind of celebration. There should be some kind of, you know, even encouragement as opposed to quarantining people who have um, uh, uh, been caught uh, outside in the curfew and therefore they're being punished by being sent on quarantine. As opposed to that kind of approach, how about saying, guys, it looks like this thing will be over, we are making progress, we're getting ahead, and well done on continuing with the, what you're doing, because majority of Kenyans are observing uh, the instructions. Again, I challenge, may we move away from being rulers and become leaders, because leaders motivate so that then people can be influenced, can be inspired, and they can do what um, they're being told to do. But it is done, the Lord is doing it for us, and I want to encourage us daily to look at it that way. Um, oh, there's a lot of noise. Sorry, I'm near the kitchen. Yeah, so the other thing I want to encourage you to do is to take ma a watchman approach. When you see it's been announced that I don't know the cases are in this neighborhood and all that, it's not the time to start praying. You pray now and you deal with it now and you arise against it now you know so you must you must deal with it now 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 so that then you are speaking and declaring in the atmosphere as a child of god covid 19 or whatever version you are, you are in whatever vermin whatever disease you have no place here you repent for the sins of the neighborhood and you you usher in the glory of god in your neighborhood and if all of us are gatekeepers like that that will be excellent the other thing, of course, to note, just like Betty has said, that people are looking for money. It is true. There's a lot of money floating around uh, to do with this. Um, oh, thank you, Wanjiro, for confirming that there's no noise. Okay, I thank God. Yeah, so, um, you know, so, so there's a lot of money floating around. It's in the billions. 
um, it's not exactly money that will be audited because you know you can always explain a pandemic in very mysterious forms how do i know this because when you go to hospital unless you check through your list but then let me tell you if there's something being challenged here it's now the medical field and of course government eh? and by government being the executive it's the executive and my prayer, and, and I've been praying a lot for the parliament, parliamentarians. I know they had a parliamentary meeting today. They have had to fight so hard to be allowed to have their parliamentary meetings. May they challenge what they are being told. They are our representatives in the parliament. And that is why we have uh, three arms of government. It's called the separation of powers. Because, you know, um, what is it? Uh, there's an expression that uh, uh, power corrupts. Eh? And uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely. So I was very concerned when, uh, you know, judiciary closed down and then, of course, parliament had closed down. And my challenge to parliamentarians is this. If you guys would really unite, I would really encourage you to forward each other your emails. You might find nobody has COVID-19 other than the one person that we have heard about and has said that he has COVID-19. But I wish you guys could share the emails openly and just say, this is what my email says I'm negative or this is what my email says that I'm positive. And even then, what is their status right now? It's been more than 14 days since they were found out to have had COVID-19, the few that they were seeing. Because part of what you must know about this COVID-19 and for me what makes me very uncomfortable is the lack of transparency. In a country where corruption has been an issue you don't want to have ambiguity you don't want to have mystery you don't want to have an opportunity where i don't know you know uh, patient confidentiality and i don't know what eh? i mean personally for me if i had not known somebody with covid 19 i would honestly have even thought that maybe somebody is cooking up this thing but there's got to be a way that it is known uh, somehow one way or another you know uh, but then again 206 cases today which are active yesterday was 207 cases which were active let us give god glory i really encourage us as intercessors to be like elijah the way elijah operated is that once they are what he kept looking into the skies yeah he kept looking into the skies and then when it was time for rain god had spoken to him that there was going to be rain yeah just like the lord spoke to me on the 16th of april together with a few people so far at least three other people have confirmed to me god has told them this thing is finished he has finished it people are now healing there is nothing else on the 16th of april so what do we do we look out for the rain so what elijah did is that he would go and take a posture of prayer and then he would rise up and tell his his assistant to run to a certain place of the sky and go and check while he continued to pray and he did this seven times by the time he now was told I see a cloud the size of a, a man's fist and then he proclaimed it's going to rain and what did he do he grabbed hold of his garments he was under the power of the holy ghost and he ran ahead of ahab's chariot he overtook ahab's chariot and he got to the gates and once he got to the gates he's the one who was now ushering in the king why because he was the gatekeeper he was the gatekeeper so while he was in prayer he was not going to allow the king to enter in again without him guarding the gates so we must know that so let's keep praying let's also pray that if there's anything sinister going on or if there's anything hidden going on that the lord exposes it so that then um you know kenyans do not suffer while maybe perhaps a few people are getting richer and richer and richer because i know that that is a great possibility especially where corruption has been an issue in a land people will not be afraid to eat even money for the dead and for people who who are, are infected so let's continue to press in i i personally keep on wondering why people are paying even that two thousand shillings because if there's billions of money circulating then why does anybody even need to pay for quarantine these are the things these are the things we need to pray about but let us pray that there will be nothing they'll not be able to find it they'll not even be able to fake anything that even the doctors will begin to speak up the doctors will begin to say what's going on one of the things that is i mean because i have a number of doctor friends one of the things i've noted about them even they themselves are saying they don't know anybody with covid19 so i'm not saying it's not there and please don't be careless don't don't fail to wear your masks and all those things take all the precautions and everything the lord is definitely fighting for us i know know somebody who was infected so and i know a friend who has someone who's infected and i know a pastor 
who is in ICU at the moment. So, you know, at least I know that there are some people who are infected, so it's not completely like a lie. But then now the exaggeration is what we need to uh, cry out about. But also I challenge the Ministry of Health and I challenge somebody in the Ministry of Health to stop having a sadistic approach uh, so that then uh, they can also uh, begin to proclaim how many people have been healed. Because it should be louder. They should be able to say this and this number of people have recovered, this number of people have passed on, of course pass on the condolences to those who are bereaved but then it should be emphasized what the net factor is there's nothing wrong with the accumulative approach i'm sure they can keep up with their studies while talking about that but i think it should be emphasized like not today one of the things that should have been stated is that there are lesser people infected today than were infected yesterday why would they not say that because they think we'll suddenly misbehave no who does not want to fight this thing I mean, the problem, and I think the government needs to know this, the problem that the Mwanainchi is going through, and with the members of parliament make this thing key, you do not push people to a corner. You do not get people to desperation where people have shut down everything and all that, hoping that maybe if they do it uh, for just a little while, then, you know, we will recover faster. So if it's not looking like there's any recovery in sight, what are people going to do? They will become hopeless. They will become, you know, that's what the Bible talks about, that the scepter of the wicked shall not stay on the land allotted to the righteous for too long, lest they raise their hand and they do evil. So the fact of the matter is, yesterday we had 2,007 active cases and today we have 206 active cases. That is the people who are sick. And where am I getting this data? from the Ministry of Health. When they make the announcement, they announce we have today, they announce we have 303 cases and of course they look very, very solemn and it's growing rapidly and some people are there saying how it's growing like Italy. I don't know, Kenya will become the Italy of where and all those nonsense things. And as Christians, we also have to learn to identify when Satan is looking for a loophole to accuse us so that then we can also nullify it. So the moment that you hear somebody saying it's becoming like Italy, it's becoming like Spain, proclaim that this is a long launching pad for the end time revival time is short and kenya shall not go the route of nations that have disobeyed god or have turned away from god so that the intercessors on the land continue to proclaim that there is a remnant and our god is faithful and this is what our god has spoken so when you do the math 303 cases today then you take 84 cases that have recovered we praise the lord yesterday there were 74 cases that have recovered today we have eight more people who have recovered and then of course the 14 unfortunately who lost their lives and let us continue to pray especially for those who are in icu there are a few people who are in icu i know two who are in icu so let us continue to pray for them let us continue to declare that satan shall not do a wicked harvest all souls belong to the lord and let us completely refuse the nonsense of satan in the name of jesus christ and especially i want to speak to africans across the nations of the world we know who we are it is our time it's time for africa when you start seeing that the president President of America is saying that he's trying to find Yoweri uh, Kaguta Museveni, the president of Uganda, to ask him to send him doctors and trying to understand why he cannot reach him because he's trying to reach him and he cannot reach him. My friend, my brother, my sister, it's time for Africa. We have the solution. The Lord is moving on our behalf. The solution, of course, is in prayer. It is in obedience. It is in letting God have his way. So let us continue to stand on the promises of God. Let us nullify the wickedness of the new world order let us refuse even if our government decides that it is supporting the new world order so that then they are going by a narrative which is supposed to keep people at home and people scared and people thinking that there's something else in exchange for you know billions and billions and billions because that's what's happening I mean, the new world order is actually going through like a rehearsal. They are trying to get people into a panic state situation. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere who already has the vaccine. And what they are hoping for is that we'll be so desperate, especially in Africa, so that then our leaders who normally do not test anything but go ahead and give us. Remember the HPV, right? Well, that was being said that all little girls should be given. Even 10-year-olds were supposed to be injected with HPV. Are you going to trust the same government over this? And I stand with the government in terms of prayer. But some people are very wicked and it seems that they are falling for the agenda of being given billions in exchange for the souls of our people. So if they could do that HPV thing that was known to cause paralysis, that was known to actually 
cause drama and really i mean when you look at it the hpv uh, what, the hpv the, the, the vaccine that people are being given and i don't know to fight against uh, cancer of the uterus that 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 uh, what is it called the um, is it a virus or is it whatever it is anyway that 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 was being uh, in fact uh, uh, injected or what is it called vaccinated against it only exists with a promiscuous girl who has multiple sexual partners so i mean really that was such a basic so if they can do that then definitely saints of god they will be preparing us for the mark of the beast so that then we can be given uh, that injection that has uh, a chip inside it what i'm wondering is we have been traveling around with our yellow uh, yellow fever uh, our yellow fever cards eh? the yellow yellow fever cards why do we need a chip to be able to tell our authorities in airports whether we have been vaccinated or not vaccinated it is so fishy it is so fishy today i'm hearing i don't know the the somebody has hacked into um i think bill gates uh, um servers i don't know if that's true or not but the lord is moving and the lord is is working you know i'm very excited that uh you know uh donald trump decided he's not going to support uh, who anymore and they are the greatest of funders so let's see how the lord is moving and let's keep on rising and let's keep on taking authority we have authority so every single day in the morning in the noon time in the evening proclaim the goodness of the lord in your neighborhood be a gatekeeper of your neighborhood if we take that then we won't have jurisdiction issues because you do have jurisdiction over your neighborhood so there is nothing to be afraid of the lord has given you your neighborhood where you live the fact that you either own land there or the fact that you live there and it's a place where god has given you the bible says it is the lord who appoints where sh people should live uh, at certain times in their lives so if he has done that then he gives you the authority to start in that neighborhood wherever you are and let the saints of god take their positions usher in the glory of god and kick out covid 19 from your area continue proclaiming it has no place when the lord reveals to you about the sins in that in your neighborhood that satan would be using to go and accuse you you go ahead to the courtrooms of heaven as a child of god and go and repent for those sins of your neighborhood and let me tell you this thing it will have no foothold to stand on it will have nothing to stand on and indeed the lord has already proclaimed that it is finished it is over it is done yes as sally is saying let us pray for donald trump let us pray for people like magufuli it is shocking to see even christians saying that magufuli uh is very foolish and very dumb i i i you know i i worry for believers sometimes not the kind of worry that we're told to not be anxious about anything but i get concerned because you know COVID 19 will pass but there's a record somewhere in heaven where you're calling somebody foolish simply because they ask that church remains open or church be reopened and so you will be calling it foolishness that somebody wanted the body of christ to gather be careful if you don't know something it's better to just keep quiet than to go throwing your mouth all over the place let's continue to press in let's continue to pray let's continue to call on the name of the lord the churches may be closed in terms of the physical buildings but i'm not going to say that the churches have moved to the homes because the lord has been telling me a lot of christians are very prayerless but as we gather online, we will call on the name of the Lord. We'll encourage one another and we'll continue to pray for all those who are not feeling well, all those who are infected, that the Lord will not allow for anyone, especially to pass on without knowing Jesus Christ as a Savior and their Lord. In this season and in this time, I really want to encourage you to visit our videos about um, the, the altars in our families and to visit uh, in terms of uh, the family altars and um, about bloodline cleansing. I really want to encourage you to listen to those things because if you have bloodline issues in your family then this thing can come into your atmosphere and you can get sick where you don't need to get sick remember earlier when i was teaching about the broken hedge and about the issue of revelation so let us shut those hedges let's make sure that they are right and everything but once again i want to repeat that using the government statistics that they themselves have given us between yesterday and today Yesterday we had 207 uh, active cases, that is people who are sick with coronavirus, as at yesterday, 207 cases, and today we have a drop, which is 206 cases, because more people have recovered between yesterday and today than the number of people who have been 
found to be infected. A few people are using narratives like, oh, you know, it's because they are not testing. But I want to repeat what a few doctors have told me, that COVID-19 is so lethal that if this thing was because uh, the people have not been tested and they are yet to be found out, then they must be recovering naturally. But also uh, uh, several doctors have told me that then people would really die senselessly in the villages and in our estates and all that people would just be found dead or dropping on the corridors or, or on, on the on the pavement and all those things people will just be collapsing and dying so it is um, we cannot say that uh, the people who have been discovered are few at it because of no tests that are being done don't fall for those things and as a Christian please don't speak like the world don't speak like the world you'd rather keep quiet than speak like the world so don't speak like the world and then more than anything let us spend time calling on the glory of god so that kenya may take its position in terms of being a a, a nation of end time revival it is time for kenya especially and then we are releasing the rest of the world uh, the rest of africa and then the rest of the nations if you have missed it again i want to just repeat donald trump looking for the ugandan president so that then he can ask him to send doctors from Uganda because he thinks that the doctors from Uganda have probably discovered a cure. But really what has happened is that Yorika Guta Museveni is a soldier and he just simply said, shut the borders, no flights. And he did it in good time while we were still allowing flights from Italy and we were still allowing uh, um, uh, flights from Europe and, and bringing in people who are sick. You know, it almost looks like somebody somewhere wanted us to get sick isn't it it almost looks like somebody somewhere wanted us to get sick and then of course when you think that people are being caught by the police as a result of being found after curfew and then at your or, or you have breached the social distance so you are taken to the quarantine center and the quarantine center has sick people as well you know it seriously looks like somebody's working really 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 hard to ensure that kenyans get sick but in the meantime our god reigns our god is faithful and he's really really protecting this land and this nation what a tafuta is covid 19 no hawata zipata we are proclaiming as sons of god on the land what as it tafuta zipata and if they cook them we are calling for the God of all light to release this information, whatever is in hiding, whatever is in the done in darkness, let it come out into the open areas. I pray, I really, really pray that there are no people out there who are just enjoying fat sitting allowances and and fat um, uh, uh, sal um, salaries, and 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 they are getting excited about um, the amount of money that is coming in or someone making business, but really. In terms of a nation that has had corruption, uh, it is not surprising that um, uh, you know that 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 uh, if somebody wants to prolong things. So once again, yesterday between yesterday and today, we have less people uh, who are infected, and there is a drop of one person. And in terms of we are making progress, and we are moving into the the whatever we are we are moving into victory, and and indeed in the spirit realm we already have the victory. So this is what I want to encourage you to say. And I want to encourage our media houses that are Christian to take that approach of, of Elijah looking out into the skies seven times until he finally saw the, the cloud the size of a man's fist. We have made progress. We want to bless the Lord. We want to praise God. They want us to say we have 303 cases. We do not have 303 cases. We have 206 cases hallelujah in the name of jesus christ our lord and king indeed more people getting healed than those who are being admitted let's continue to press in and may our government also take a reporting approach that is encouraging the citizens but not of course I'm, i suppose they probably think that fear will work to make citizens stay at home but i believe that if they encourage them to say we are making victory you know stay at home because it is making progress and all that then that would be better but the project Projections are definitely evil. Oh, one more thing. I was asking the Lord about uh, the issue of, um, you know, that, uh, you know, hospitals are now being built uh, to accommodate all the patients that they are planning for and all that. You know, the Lord told me, the Lord told me, let them build them. So there'll be reception centers for our weddings when revival has fallen on the land and there are no sick people on the land. But there's nothing wrong with them building for us. Let them build for us. Let them continue to build for us and, um, you know, to give us free things. Remember, oh, something else. 
Something else to thank God for is uh, we received a concession of 70 billion shillings uh, in terms of our debt. So China said, uh, we forgive you the 70 billion that you owe us. So reduce your debt status by 70 billion and consider it to be our contribution. So our debt status reduced by 70 billion. And let us nullify this issue of credit lines that the president is talking about. We do not want to borrow anymore. Kenya is not in agreement with borrowing anymore. We are lenders and not borrowers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all and be encouraged. Be encouraged. 206 people in a nation of 47 million people. Be encouraged. The Lord is fighting for us. Yesterday we had 207. Today we have 206. There is a drop. Be encouraged in Jesus' mighty name. Keep praying. Keep calling on the name of the Lord. Amen.